Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here, and this is my Nintendo Switch because I'm going to be showing you what's on my Nintendo Switch. I know a lot of you guys were asking about this, and I figured, you know what? Now's a good time. Let's show you what's on the Switch. So I'm going to do this pretty quickly. I'm not going to show you video game footage. I'm just going to tell you what's on my Switch. So if you do want to see footage from any of these games that I'm going to kind of blast by today, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do a separate video on it. But let's kick it off. So Shantae Half Genie Hero is a platformer. It's one of my favorite platformers on the system. I've had it since almost system launch. And it's got a really nice soundtrack, voiceover, art style to it. Um, little tip here, at the time of the posting of this video, it's going to get a physical release. And that physical release is going to include all of the downloadable content on the cartridge. So if you are thinking about picking this one up, you might want to wait for the physical release. Dragon Quest Builders, kind of like Minecraft, but it has some storyline elements to it. Bayonetta, I would say it's kind of like a Devil May Cry game, but uh, it's done in more of a, what do I say, a Tarantino or a Grindhouse style. Lots of blood, lots of guts, definitely not family friendly. Celeste, Goff Story, which is an RPG mixed in with, you got it, elements of Goff. It actually plays really well. The graphical style is more of kind of like the NES. Minecraft, of course, Rocket League, Knights of Azur 2 Brighter Than the Moon, which is kind of like a Dynasty Warriors game. Azur Striker Gunvolt, which includes both parts one and two. This is another platformer, all uh, almost like a Mega Man style. It's done by uh, those who did Mega Man. We've got Elder Scrolls Skyrim, which is the open world RPG. Whoever thought that would make it to the Switch, but believe it or not, it plays really well on the Switch, and to be able to take it on the go is quite something. Resident Evil Revelations, if you pick up the physical version of this, it includes both parts one and two that you see right there. Oxen Free, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, which blends both universes, Mario on the Nintendo side with the Rabbids universe on the Ubisoft side, and packages it into a uh, strategy RPG. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, the RPG, Lego Worlds, L.A. Noir by Rockstar Games, Super Mario Odyssey, which is definitely a must-have on your Nintendo Switch. Uh, who could resist? It looks amazing. There's lots of secrets to it. We've got downloadable content coming, and it is just, it's a must-have on your Switch. If you've got a Switch, you need that game. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap. Interesting kind of little thing about this game. It's a platformer, but you can actually switch between old-school graphics and hand-drawn graphics on the fly with the push of the button. It's pretty neat to see that. Stardew Valley, if you like Tekken, but you like Pokemon, check out Pokemon Tournament DX because it's Tekken with Pokemon. It's pretty cool. Here's the other system seller and must-have on the Switch, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, the big open-world RPG uh, in the Legend of Zelda universe with a really compelling storyline. SteamWorld Dig 2, Splatoon 2, Sonic Mania, ARMS, Puyo Puyo Tetris, this is a demo for the Octopath Traveler. If you like RPGs, at least go to the eShop and download it. Check it out. It's got a really cool art style, which mixes like 2D and 3D art, and it, it plays off really well. Super Bomberman R, DeSegia 5 Complete, Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers, Cave Story Plus, Fates Extelia, Retro City Rampage DX, Namco Museum. So Namco Museum is kind of a throwback to all the classics, Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galaga, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, this is a lot of fun, and it's more than just racing. If you haven't looked into it, you should check it out. Of course, the racing is a big part. Multiplayer is a big part. But then you've got all these mini games, which are a lot of fun, like popping balloons, collecting coins. Uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool. Uh, Blaster Ma Master Zero, Lego City Undercover. Believe it or not, this is a game that if you took Grand Theft Auto, made it family friendly, if you could believe that, and put it in the Lego universe, this is what you get with Lego City Undercover. Surprisingly, it, it plays out really well and it's worth a look. Snipper Clips, best play with two players using the Joy-Cons as you see in the thumbnail here. And then finally, The Binding of Isaac After Birth. So that's what is on my Nintendo Switch, at least at the time of the posting of this video. 
If you want to see any of these titles in greater detail in a separate video, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what's on your Switch. What are your must-haves? If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.